So there's this thing called TIPS, which stands for Treasury Inflation Protected Securities, and it is a type of bond that is issued by the US Treasury Department. TIPS are designed to protect investors from inflation by adjusting the bond's principal value and interest payment based on the Consumer Price Index, CPI, which is a measure of inflation. And I know that may have been confusing to follow, so let me explain. You see, there are two key sectors that investors often put their money into for passive income. The first is equity investments. This refers to investing in stocks or shares of a company. And equity investors earn passive income in the form of dividends, which are payments made by companies to their shareholders out of their profits. The second is fixed income investments, and this refers to investing in bonds or other debt securities. And fixed income investors earn their passive income in the form of interest payments, which are made by bond issuers to the bond holders. Generally, bonds are considered to be less risky than equity investments because they are typically issued by stable companies or governments and they provide investors with a fixed income stream. While bonds can also experience price fluctuations like stocks, their value is more closely tied to changes in interest rates and credit quality, which is typically more predictable than stock market volatility. Now, I know I mentioned bonds so many times, so what is a bond? If you're enjoying this video so far, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the thumbs up button for the YouTube algorithm. Thank you so much, let's move on. A bond is a type of investment that allows you to lend money to an organization, such as a government or a corporation, for a fixed period of time. When you buy a bond, you are essentially just loaning your money to an organization, which will then pay you back with interest over a set period of time. Simple. It's really important to remember that government bonds are generally considered to be the safest type of bond due to the backing of the government. And this goes back to credit rating. So the higher the credit rating, the more trustworthy it is as it will have a lower chance of defaulting. So for example, let's say you buy a bond for $1,000 with a 5% interest rate, also known as a coupon rate, and a maturity date of 10 years. So this means that you are lending $1,000 to an organization and they will pay you 5% on your loan every year for 10 years. And that is when they have to pay all of your money back in full. What's very interesting is that these interest payments are fixed. They are not compounded so that 5% interest rate is based off of the original value of the bond, also known as the face value, and generally doesn't change. Now this is both a good thing and a bad thing. Bad because, well, we all saw what happened to Silicon Valley Bank, and if you're curious, I did post a video about it two days ago that explains everything thoroughly. Now back to tips. <laughs> like I mentioned before, typically bonds are heavily influenced by interest rates, credit ratings, and inflation. When inflation rises, the government will increase interest rates in order to suppress it. And when interest rates increase, the face value of the bond decreases. And the reason is very simple. So using our previous example, let's say we buy a $1,000 bond with a 5% interest rate. Now the interest rate increases because inflation is rising. So now a bond valued at $1,000 would provide a 7% interest rate. So the bond that we bought is now worth less because it offers lower interest. What's also very important to know is that bonds can be traded on a secondary market. So once you've been issued a bond, you can go sell it on the secondary market to somebody else and potentially make money or lose money. And again, the Silicon Valley Bank is the perfect example of this. And this is where tips come into play. So tips are designed to protect investors from inflation by adjusting the face value of the bond and interest payments based on changes in the consumer price index, which measure inflation. Opposite to what normal bonds do, the value of the bond can actually go up when inflation goes up because the bond's principal value is adjusted for inflation. As a result, the interest payments on the tips bond also increase to keep pace with inflation. That's amazing. For example, let's say you have a TIPS bond with a fixed interest rate of 5% and a principal value of $1,000. If inflation goes up to let's say 3%, then it would result in an increase in the principal value of the TIPS bond to $1,030. The interest rate also goes up to compensate for the increased inflation risk. And frankly, maybe this is what Silicon Valley Bank should have done rather than buying billions of mortgage-backed securities. Idiots. So this brings me to SPIP. This is a bond ETF. SPIP tracks an index of treasury inflation protected securities and SPIP offers broad tips exposure at a reasonable price. This bond ETF has an expense ratio of only 0.12% and a total of $2.03 billion of assets under management. It also provides a dividend of 6.79%. 
Now you may be confused why I said dividends, and that is because this is a bond ETF and they have investments in different types of bonds. And the interest earned from these bonds are then distributed as dividends to investors who purchase the ETF. This is a chart that breaks down the types of bonds and the percentage allocation. And you can see that it's more tailored towards short term bonds with three to five years maturity versus long term bonds. And this is a good thing because long term bonds, although may provide more interest, are riskier because inflation and interest rates are more susceptible to significant change in the long term. Also, it's important to note that this ETF is made up of government bonds, not junk bonds, which means that the trust of this ETF is high, hence the overall A rating. Now, if we look at the performance of this bond ETF and compare it to the S&P 500, you can see that from the start of 2022, which is when the interest rate hikes began, this ETF outperformed the S&P 500 by 3%. But remember that this ETF also provides an annual dividend of close to 7%. And this reiterates the usefulness of tips as an investing method to hedge against inflation and protect your portfolio by earning a consistent income. Now, of course, the downside of these bonds is, well, they never outperform in the long term and they have a risk of deflation. So for one, if inflation and interest rates drop, so will the value of the bond but it will never go below the original face value. But newly issued tips will be worth more than older tips. Although no matter how you look at it, dividend ETFs still outperform bonds and offer more capital appreciation with dividend income. But during times of high inflation and rising interest rates, this can be a very useful investment. And that is all for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more. And I will see you guys in the next one. 